one, two, three, pivot. Right, in business we talk a lot about pivoting and a pivot, and if you play basketball, you know you know what a pivot is. So a pivot is essentially just a change of direction, right? Uh, so you plant, you pivot, you go a different way. So a pivot just helps you to turn and, and go in a different direction. So in business, a lot of times, you'll hear companies talk about uh, having a pivot or, or it's pivoting time. And so it just means they're going in a different direction. And for you personally, because this channel was not a business channel, that's my middleman CEO channel, this channel was about personal finance uh, and reconditioning the way you think about money and the way you think about your own personal finance and your own brand. That's why this channel is called Minority Money Mindset because the majority think the same way. And so the majority are all in a bad situation. Majority of people can't you know, solve a $1,000 problem today. Majority of people don't have $500 in a savings account. Majority of people can't afford a home today, a new home. Majority of people uh, rely on a paycheck as their only source of income. So my, my advice to you, don't be majority. Please don't be the majority. That's why I created this channel. Be the minority. Minority money mindset. You have to have a different mindset when it comes to money that's unlike the minority, right? So welcome to the channel. I'm Sean John, author of the book Ready, Set, Wealth. If you want to get a copy of my book where I write about all of this, teach you everything I know about money and finance, uh, then you're welcome to get a copy. Write book in the comments. The book is only $25. We take care of the shipping and handling, but I'm telling you the book is well worth it. It's, it's uh, only about 150 pages, only 25. It's going to bless you and change your life. What are some of the things you're going to learn in there? You're going to learn how to pivot. You're going to learn how to change directions. You're going to learn how to go from uh, thinking one way about money to thinking an entirely different way about money, right? So what if I came on here today like I am, like I'm doing now, and then I say to you, hey, before you go out there and buy that house, here's what I want you to know. I want you to know that there's a better way to buy a house. So if I can teach you how to buy a house without needing your paycheck from your job, right? Without needing your paycheck from your job, would that be okay? And then, you know, anybody in their, in their right mind is gonna be like, heck yeah, that's okay. Please show me how to pay for my house or buy a house, because everybody wants a house, right? So how to buy a house without needing a paycheck. And that's what this channel is about. So if you know someone who's in the market to buy a house, send them to the channel. If you know somebody whose only source of income is their paycheck from work, send them to this, to this channel, they need it. If you know somebody who is still focusing or practicing saving money while the government is printing money, uh, saving toilet paper, which is what it really is, in a dying bank account, Savings accounts is where, where money goes to die. You didn't know that, but I'm telling you, and now you do. A checking account, savings account, that's where money goes to die. You know how I know? Because there's no interest. Now, you're like, because remember, when the banks wanted you to bring their the money to them, because the banking system is one of the greatest systems in the world. Banking, network marketing, and thrift resale. <laughs> I surprise you with that one, but let me tell you why. Banking, I'm sorry, banking, and uh, thrifting, actually, they get free product to sell. So imagine you had a business and you were selling whatever items. It could be digital, it could be physical, it does not matter. But the customer actually brought it to you for free. They gave it to you for free. So it, do it doesn't cost you anything to get the product. You don't have to make it, you don't have to ship it, you don't have to order it, you don't have to do any of that. You simply, if you're Goodwill or the Salvation Army, all you have to do is set up a bin and they'll drop off free product to you all day long, right? They'll drop it off to you all day long and you just take it and sell it and make money. The banking system, people drop off their paychecks all day long. Think about this, picture this. You go to work all week long, 40 hours it costs you because you pay to go to work. Don't for a second think that work is free. Work is not free. You pay to go to work. You pay in time. 
Work is not free. You pay with your time to get that paycheck. If you don't exchange time, they don't give you money. So you take your nine to five, Monday through Friday, and you make a deal with that employer, and you says, hey, I will work for you for you know, blank amount of money Monday through Friday. I will come and work for you. And they hire you and you work for them. And so what does it cost you? Time. So the more time you give, the more money you make. But you fail to forget, well, or you may not have ever known, you fail to remember that even after you do all the work, check the process. That's why some of you need to pivot right now on the way you operate, the way you think, and the way you uh, utilize money. Because you go to work, you put in all that work, you sell all that time, and then you come home, and then they pay you on whatever day, and then you get your check, and you realize, well, you don't even get a check anymore, you get a check stub. And so the banks don't have to pay interest anymore because you no longer have a paper check. See, when you have paper checks, the bank would have to pay you to get you or to encourage you or incentivize you to come and drop your money off at the bank. Now, there's this really cool thing called direct deposit. And so the banks realize, wait a minute, these employees are just giving us product. They're just giving us money. They're not checking. How many questions have you gotten about interest rates on savings account? Not many. They're not checking their interest rates. They're not coming here looking for, for, for payouts, for dividends, uh, for advances. They're not looking for anything. They're just looking for a way to hide their money, a place to put it. And so we're going to take it and we're going to spin it and make money off. We're going to flip it. So peep this. The banks tell you to save money in banks, but the banks don't even save money. If you go to a bank right now and you say, hey, I need to withdraw 25000 even 10000 they're either going to say, come back, or they're going to say, uh, they're either, or a bank manager, or you'll have to come back in a day or two. Why? Because the banks don't have money. I bet you didn't know that banks run out of money and they borrow from each other all the time. Right? There's such thing as a bank-to-bank -bank interest rate. That's not what it's called. I forgot the name. It evades me. But I'm giving, I'm giving you some real game. You're not going to get this in school. You're not going to get this in college. If you park your money in a bank, you're going to be broke. Sure, you got money in the bank. Well, Sean, I'm not broke. I got 10000 in the bank. You're broke because you fail to understand that a bank is where money goes to die. Your money goes to die. Their money goes to live. You put money in there, the bank uses it to get rich. They don't pay you anything because you don't demand it. They don't need you to, uh, they don't need to incentivize you anymore because you got this thing called direct deposit and they just float the money to the bank without you ever seeing the check. How about this? You're the person who does all the work and you're the last person to get paid. Oops, did I say that too fast? Let me back it up then. You're the person who does all the work and you're the last person to get paid. How do I know this? Because you do all the work, they give you a paycheck, but it doesn't come to you. It goes directly to the bank. But before it hits the bank, the government's gotten paid. Uh-oh. So the government's gotten paid already? Yep. And then when it hits the bank, the bank uses it immediately, loans it to people with good credit in exchange for an interest rate. So the bank got paid. Not just that, the person who borrowed it, borrowed it got paid. So... The government got paid first, the bank got paid, because you deposited into there, and then the bank loans it to someone else with good credit and they got paid. The very last person to benefit from your paycheck is you. The very last person to get paid from your paycheck is you. You're at least number four on the list. You're at least number four. I could probably think of another one. You're probably number five. <laughs> oh, you are number five. Oh, you are. It just came to me. You know why? Because somebody's probably saying this while I was doing that. And by the way, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up if you like what you're hearing. Also, if you have a question or comment, drop it. And please, if you don't mind, I'm trying to grow the channel. Please let at least one person know about this. And welcome to the channel. But ooh, you're number five. You're number five to get paid. You're the fifth person to get paid from your paycheck. You know who number four is? Take a guess. I wish this was alive. I would pay somebody. $25 cash app if they would guess this. Take a guess. And I know you're not seeing this video live, but write down what you were thinking. But here's, here's, I'll go through it again. You're the fifth person, I'll prove it, to get paid from your paycheck. 
first person, you, all right, so here's the scenario. You go out, you do all this work, you hustle and grind, you hustle and bustle, and I promise you, you're the last person that's gonna get paid. Let's walk through it. Number one, the first person, who did all the work? You, but you don't get paid first. You get paid six. You're the sixth person to get paid. Five people get paid ahead of you. Your paycheck takes care of five, five homes, uh, so to speak, five households before it gets to yours. And you did all the work, they didn't do any. Here you go. You go to work, you do, you sell your time for money all week, you get a paycheck. First person to get paid, the government, Current Tax Payment Act, they are able to go into your check and take it out. That's something called a net and a gross. I say it this way in my book. Your gross is toast, it's a lie, it's not real money. Your net is what you really get. You cannot budget off your gross because it's fake money. Well, they, they're paying me 50 grand a year. Now they're paying you 35. I bet you can't spend that extra 15. It ain't there, it's just fallacy. These are fake numbers, you gotta understand. Everything when it comes to money is fake, it's not real. When the banks push buttons on the computer, they can push 10 buttons, put a million dollars in your account. It ain't cash, it's just numbers in the digital world somewhere. All this stuff is fake, right? So here we go. Look at the economy now when all that fake money was printed. I'm just saying, people can't afford houses, can't afford cars, they can barely afford their dogs, right? Here we go. So I'll prove that five people get paid ahead of, ahead of you, or five entities. Number one, the government gets paid ahead of you. You do all the work, first person to eat off your paycheck, the government. Second to eat off your paycheck is the bank. Third to eat off your paycheck is the creditors. I'm sorry, the, uh, the person the bank loans the money to. Right? That's three. Right? So maybe you're fifth. But that's three. So the government's going to get paid from your paycheck. Then your paycheck's going to direct deposit into a bank. The bank's going to get paid. Then the bank's going to loan the money to someone else, and they're going to get paid. And then you're gonna pay bills. See, that was it, that was the one. You're gonna pay bills with your paycheck, right? You're gonna pay bills with your paycheck. That's number four, right? Proving, because you're gonna pay taxes, you're gonna pay the bank, uh, the bank's gonna, uh, your money's then gonna flow from the bank to the person borrowing the money, and then you're gonna pay, try to pay your bills with whatever's left. You wanna know how to stay broke forever? Live in that cycle. That's the cycle of broke. I promise you, it's the cycle of being broken poor. How do I know? I've been in it. It ain't no fun. So you're the fifth person to get paid from your paycheck. Isn't that crazy? I, yeah, I know I can think of some more, uh, but I'll let you guys do it. You guys think of who else gets paid from your paycheck before you do it, write in in the comments. By the way, if you wanna learn how to start a business using only your cell phone, cause I'm at the gym about to go work out. It is nine o'clock in the morning on a Friday here in Dallas. I do not have a job. I do not have to go to work. I work from home or wherever I want to be. I, I only need my cell phone, sometimes my laptop if I want to do something else. But I, ha I have a business where I used to own a moving service. Some of you guys know my story, but on Middleman CEO, or just go to middlemanceo.com. You can join the master class, learn how to do this. Uh, it's a six hour course. I teach you how to start your own business using only your cell phone. That's it. So if you wanna make money outside of your job, because a lot of you are stuck and you need to pivot, you need to get away uh, from only relying on your paycheck. I'm not telling you quit your job. No, keep your paycheck. Just learn how to make money when you're not at work so that if anything happens, <clears throat> when anything happens with your paycheck, because it's gonna happen, then you'll be able to make money and nothing's gonna stop you and your family from getting to the next level. So that changed my life and 2020 was the first time I started my middleman business. Uh, I'm just starting to teach it, but I've been doing it now for, this is my fourth year, and uh, my first year I made 77 grand. I didn't even know what I was doing, I and I started in April of that year, so not even a full year. But, and I got the Stripe account to prove it. But anyway, uh, I do live trainings every Thursday night, so uh, if you wanna get the, the live training, uh, just put live, L-I-V-E, in the comments. If you wanna get the book, put book in the comments. And if you want to go to my other site, it's Middleman CEO. You'll see me over there, and I'll teach you how to start a business. Otherwise, you guys have a blessed Friday, a blessed weekend. Be safe. Blessed by the best, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.